today we'll have a look at an interesting pen. A pen from a brand that I have not yet reviewed a lot of pens of, even though I get a lot of requests for it, but I just never got around to it. So now we do, and that's exciting. This pen is on loan to me from Iguana Cell in Spain. So thank you. It's coming back to you after the uh, review, but I think it will be exciting because a lot of people want to see this brand represented more on the channel. So we have, we're talking about Estée Dupont, white outer sleeve box, has the, uh, the Dupont D on it, has this little sort of cutout to protect the pen and then the pen rests on the bed. There's a little blue cartridge uh, which does have ST Dupont engraved in the um, on the cartridge on the side, which is kind of nice. Bed comes out, booklet uh, in all kinds of languages, filling instructions, etc., for the various writing instruments, and an international warranty card. Anyway, so there's that. And then, of course, there is the pen. And we are talking about the Liberté. And not just any Liberté, this is the white and palladium finish. And there's the pen. Alright, so, obviously white, trim, palladium, uh, and I, uh, this pen definitely has some things going for it. So I'm going to cover the past of the pen and tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the top of the pen. Wait, let me hold this this way. There's the D with sort of a, a something that reminds me of a diamond, the, the, the facets they, they cut out there. And then there is a long clip and a cap that tapers down strongly. And then here in the center band it says ST Dupont and Paris. This clip is spring loaded, so easy to use. I like that. You can't ex actually uh, operate it from the side and, and um, make it pop open, but I mean, you can use this fairly easily. So that's nice. We go on to the barrel. Um, the barrel is white and ends in that little sort of palladium colored end cap. Cap pops off. Snaps shut securely. Pen does rotate. Some people uh, don't like that. I'm one of them. Section very slim. Tapers down, flares out a little bit, and has a, a a little ring there. And this almost reminds me of a chess piece. It's a nice shape. I also like the the slanted cut in the metal there. And Esté Dupont often has very nicely cut nibs. I like the the looks of that. And then you have a little bit of a you have some uh, you have that uh, Esté Dupont D and a couple of lines on there. And apart from that, it says 14K 585, and that's uh, pretty much it. Now it could be me, but to me it looks like the nib is slightly rotated. You see this this metal bit kind of goes up there. And if you look at the center, I have the feeling that the nib slit is a little off-center. And just pointing that out. The pen unscrews conveniently. I have, there was no converter supplied, so I put in a Visconti converter, but it's just a standard international uh, adapter, so it, it doesn't really matter. You probably have something lying around that would fit in this. And there's a little rubber O-ring there, which you can see, and that makes sure that the barrel doesn't accidentally unscrew. I'm sure that is not there, so you can convert this pen to an eyedropper, even though everybody always wants that. I don't think it's possible. It is a metal barrel. Okay, pen in hand. Decent size, very slim, very slim model, uh, but it, it's uh, long enough to hold comfortably for me. And you can post it very securely, as you can see. That really almost click. It doesn't really click in place, but you can feel feel that really slipping into place. And then you have a very nicely sized and weighted pen, although it becomes 
it's also a metal cap, so it becomes very top heavy as you write with this. Okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? I would consider this to be a ladies' pen. It's very slim, it's very refined in shape, uh, it's fairly small, not in length but in girth. It's definitely a very, very slim pen, uh, and to me, that is not really the most comfortable model to use. But that is not really criticism, because obviously people with smaller hands, for example women, may enjoy this very much. Uh, and you have to look at the, the peer group it was made for. So in that regards, in that regard, I, I think it's, uh, it, it's, it's definitely interesting for that market. It also has sort of feminine colors, a nice bright white, the, the silver color trim, I think it, it works well. Something like that diamond cut on top. I can see this being a refined ladies pen. So I like all of that. I like the way the nib writes. I do not have a lot of experience with ST Dupont pens, but the ones I have used so far have had very pleasant, very smooth nibs. So I like that. I, I like the very pleasant writing experience, consistent ink flow, etc. What do I not like so much? I'm just uh, sip some tea here. 550 dollars uh, is what the, uh, the, the the pen goes for uh, on Iguana Cell. ST Dupont pens, known to be exclusive, known to be expensive. Uh, you, I, I don't think you can pick up a, a Dupont pen for $20. Um, and you you notice that I mean it's it's I find this very pricey for what this is yes it is a gold nib but it's a cartridge converter filled pen yes there is palladium trim on it palladium is a more expensive metal but there isn't that much of it it's 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 a really skinny pen um, so this is probably not a pen I would purchase at that price however obviously you may and. I can see how this would appeal to some people, uh, just because of the, the shape and size. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, and I'm, I'm fiddling around with the box here, should you wonder, because that's one of the things I, I kind of disliked about it. I'll show you why I'm fiddling with the pen here. Is that, I don't know if you can really see it, but this white body picks up quite some specks of dust. I really don't know if the camera picks it up, but if you have this pen in a, a black box like this, and with the naked eye, I can definitely see a whole bunch of, of dust uh, there, a lot of dust. Is that a big deal? Not necessarily, uh, but it struck me as interesting, given the, the white finish. It's, it's almost like it's a little static or something, and it just attracts the, uh, the dust. Okay, well, there you have it, ST Dupont measurements are on the website, sbrebrown.com, as well as high resolution pictures, taken as always by the inimitable gourmet pens. And we need to see how the pen writes, that's what's coming up next. Hope this was useful so far. A kind thank you to Iguana Cell for lending me the pen, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the ST Dupont. Liberté. Uh, the uh, the nib is a fine, uh, and the uh, ink is. Oops, sorry, Pelican uh, Royal Blue. The one thing that I notice straight away when I write with this pen. Medium. Uh, oh, it's a medium sorry. actually. Sorry. Thank you. And the one thing I notice as I write with this is that it's a very pleasant nib. It, it, it really is smooth without feeling over polished. So it has a little bit of very pleasant feedback, but it's a very nice and, and smooth experience. It's just a tactile feedback of a, a fountain pen nib on paper. Um, I really like that. It's, it's very, very pleasant. I also notice that this section is not usable for me. I, I it, it, it keeps rotating and it's just it's just for me it's too thin.
as you can see, it, it flows very well. Uh, it doesn't run dry. Even though Pelican Royal Blue is a slightly drier blue, it, it runs perfectly. Not super wet, but I would say very well tuned. Line variation. Don't mind the alarming noise, that's just the camera microphone picking that up more. Bit of line variation, quite nice. Reverse writing for those of you who enjoy that. It doesn't really work. Too dry. So, there you have it. A kind thank you to Iguana Cell for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later.